Elizabeth, you okay down there? Good, you're doing great, okay? Okay, so you see here that we're having some problem accessing the foramen. Rather than continually try, um, I, I took the uh, lead back, and now we are um, running the, um, after running the K-wire, we're putting the lead back in, and um, trying to pass again. And you can see there's a weird bend on the end there. We're trying to save it by um, trying to pull it back in. It didn't work, so now we're gonna reposition it, um, now we're going to lower in the foramen just to not go through the same, the same um, obstructed path we were on. You can see the lead took a funny angle, um, but again, I'm just trying to save it here um, by pulling it back into place. Um, and you can see by pushing the lead forward, we were able to do that. And in the lateral view, we're at the top of the foramen, hugging it uh, with two leads under the pedicle, so we're satisfied with this placement. Um, for the tension loop, again, uh, you know, I believe in, in manipulating the lead to, uh, excuse me, the introducer to try to um, direct our lead to where it wants to go. So first we advance to, to create that cephalad loop, and now <clears throat> to make the bottom loop, we're going to turn the sheath, um, uh, we're going to pull it back and turn it towards the foramen. We have our stylet is going to be pulled out to make the lead a little softer. Here it comes, here's the lead, now we're going to advance the lead a little bit and we want it to catch against the wall to form that bend there. Just a, that bend right there is gonna catch it for you, us now to take the sheath back to the middle, advance it, and pass it. Again, here we have the cord in front. You do not want to turn your introducer sheath towards the spinal cord. You can cause neurological insult there. Um, and look, we got double loops there. Uh, now we're gonna put in the other lead, and you can see here that uh, we, we obliqued it to the working side to increase that space. Uh, and I'm trying to access in, uh, in the middle of the epidural space. You can see here we have, it looks like we got loss of act, uh, resistance there. We inject four cc's of normal saline to create a buffer just to uh, prevent any kind of scraping or irritation to the cord that we can um, when we're up in this zone. Again, these are put through, this, these are placed through the incision that was put beforehand. And again, same thing, we're running up, uh, turning the bevel to the frame in, running the introducer sheath, guide wire, lead, and going through that same process to uh, make that loop. So now we're turning everything towards the head. We're gonna advance it up a little bit. Um, and uh, it looks like it's still kind of getting stuck there. We're trying to advance a little more uh, so we can have two contacts under that pedicle. That's the optimal position for us. Again, sheath rotated upwards. Uh, it's being advanced, uh, probably taking out the stylet right now. I'm gonna advance it some more. Oh, maybe not. I wasn't happy with it. Oh, there we go. And now we're advancing and doing the same thing, trying to pull it back in. Uh, we're gonna take the sheath back. It's still up there. Sheath, uh, we turned it to the left actually. We made that loop. Now we're probably gonna turn it to the right. There it goes, advancing. Turn it back to the middle, push it up, and we're gonna have our loop, and uh, we're gonna have our uh, loops there. And again, we got double loops here. And this is uh, being performed at the T12 level. And, um, you know, you could, there's our one lead, and we're about to put both of our leads. So, you know, that's the placement. Hope you guys enjoyed it.